and welcome to the first SuperNEC tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to install SuperNEC onto your computer. First things first, you will need the zip folder. If you do not have the zip folder, please download it from the link down in the description. Using the zipping software of our choice, we're going to begin by extracting the files. So I'm extracting it directly into my C drive. It's the simplest and easiest way to install SuperNEC. So just directly on your C drive, it'll automatically create the folder SNEC 2017A in your C drive. You can change it up later as you please, but for now we're just going to extract it directly. Now, if we open our C drive and we scroll down a little bit, uh, there we go, SNEC 2017A. Go ahead and open that up. Open up the second version of it. Okay, so now we're going to see a whole lot of folders and it's okay. We're going to do this nice and slow. Open up the MATLAB folder. Right down at the bottom, you'll see there's a startup MATLAB code. Open that with your MATLAB. Just please note that SuperNEC will not work with the free programs such as Octave or anything like that. It's purely MATLAB at the moment. Okay, so now you see a bunch of paths. You'll notice that the path that is there is not our path. So if you have a look here, we are on a C drive. Copy this path as it is right now. And now, just before the backslash of MATLAB, highlight everything after the semicolon. Press Ctrl F on your keyboard. We're going to do a find and replace and replace the default path with our path. So just in the replace with, paste your path and replace that d.apps path. Say replace all. And okay, you should have replaced it with your SuperNEC path by now. Have a quick read through to make sure everything's in place. And we can move on to the next step. Go back into your command windows. And you'll see there, there's the path. And we'll now begin creating a batch folder to launch this thing. Open up your notepad. Let's begin. Assign some disk space. Go CD. Paste your path. Uh, delete everything there. And we also didn't need that C colon. Take that out as well. Now we're going to be setting up the root. So it's SNEC root version two, all caps. Paste your path. Okay, remove everything after the second backslash. And the second backslash, oops. Okay, license, just copy it down as I've written there. Paste, remove everything after the second backslash. Type license uh, there backslash license.dat. Now we're setting temp, simply modulus, temp, modulus. Oops. Okay. Now we're doing path the same way. Capital path, modulus, path, modulus. Semicolon, paste your path again. Delete everything after the second backslash again and just type in bin. Perfect. I'm just adding some additional stuff like the no splash, no desktop. That way I don't launch MATLAB every time I want to use SuperNEC. Save the file, not as a text file. We're going to be saving it and under all files. There we go. Now I'm just going to name mine super nec launch.bat because this is our batch file. Just save it to the same place you saved everything else. Go back to where we started and you'll see there's a lovely batch file. Double, double click on that for me. And now, theoretically, we should see SuperNEC launch. You'll see a command window. Ah, there we go. So there it is. You've officially installed SuperNEC onto your computer. In the next video, we'll be exploring how to set up simulations and what type of assemblies you can actually use. And that's pretty much all from me. Please subscribe to see the next video. Bye.